Hello, you're with the Hairy Golfer. I haven't said that for a while because I haven't made a video for a couple of weeks. I am outside Gloucester Golf Centre and this is the first of my lessons in Route 666 Highway to Hell and uh, because of we've had a storm come through, I haven't played much, I've had a few other things to do, I actually haven't, oh my god look at that, Slaphead Extreme. I haven't actually picked up a golf club very recently, so we're starting from a very low base level. I'm going to record the lesson and then I will chop up the relevant parts and condense it down to something that's actually watchable. I've got six 15 minute lessons over the next couple of months. Two of those lessons will be on the golf course at my club. And that club is obviously going to be Lilybrook because I've changed clubs. You'll have seen that in the other video, which is half made, and I'm making the other half tonight. Anyway, let me get my gear out. We'll get inside. Now, the facilities in here are, they have a putting lab with multiple cameras and slow-mo and all sorts of stuff to see what you're doing with your putting stroke and how you're presenting the club face to the ball. Um, I'm happy with what I'm doing, so I'm not going to have one of those. They have a short game area. I haven't seen it because it is brand new. I presume it's going to be artificial grass of different lengths and they're going to, you know, it's chipping basically from different levels of grass. And of course they have the, the normal studio, which I, they use for club fitting. And I will be in there and I'll be on the computer and I've got to get used to the idea of hitting a ball into a screen. Right, so we're in the studio. We have the TV screens, which is replicated on the wall here and there. Hi. Want a drink? I'm fine, thank you. I've just had a drink at the club. Okay. We've got the uh, the radar tool, and there's another camera there. I'm just going to go and get loose, and we're going to have a uh, have a bit of fun. Right, so for you hit between six to ten for me. I'm yeah. going to have a little stroll around and assess your swing. And then what we'll do is we'll pop them on camera and then we'll go from there. That was the toe. And the poor shot at the moment. The poor shot is that across the ball, de lofted low or if I you know it, or it might be the high slice okay so when you say low low left because you've come over the top slice. okay and in terms of trajectory that you see out on the golf course would you say that you are high Ball flight player or mid low? Um, I, I'm I'm a low ball flight player. Low ball. Yeah, getting the ball in the air is always an issue. Okay. Um, and strike wise, obviously we spoke about strike a little bit. Yeah. Would you say your toe heel thin fats? It, it's toe. 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 And would that have any relation to the in terms of the angle of attack into the golf ball? So heavier yeah. or, or thin? Uh, yeah, some thin, some fat. Okay. That is a long way to the right. I know that when I get it going, yep. it's, it's beautiful, but okay. it's few and far between. So the bit to the right. 15 yards out there. Okay. It's very unusual not being able to see a, a see ball fly. So I mean I've had the luxury of coaching inside and outside. Yeah. And uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to a bit of trust. That felt a whole lot better. <laughs> And yet the line says it won't. That's strange. So a good strike. 
This is why I find getting fitted in here so, so difficult. Okay. So apart from obviously your father being a member at Lillybrook for 20 odd years, was that, was there any other reason why you went there? Um, obviously didn't want a hotel, of course, again, or something owned by a business. Yeah. And there's, uh, you obviously want some quality. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting challenge with there just being one par five, which is most certainly a par five, not a four and a half. Yeah. I think it's a lovely golf course. Oh, yes, it, I, it's always had a reputation. I just, you know, you tend to go places because of your mates. Yeah. I enjoyed that one. Oh, that was right. Sound, you can tell by the sound that you've hit it. Absolutely. Right, so. so. Yeah, I'm familiar with V1. Okay, fantastic. So, do you sort of like email a, a video saying this is where you started from, this is where we got you to? I certainly do. Yeah. Right, sir. So, whenever you are ready, the camera's live. off quickly just so we can <laughs> so in terms of alignment I don't think it's too bad at all okay so the center line would be here on the screen yeah so if I can do that in 90 degrees there we go um, so feet alignment is absolutely excellent okay hip alignment is very good shoulders are a fraction left fraction open fraction open okay. yeah nothing too major but then if we relay that into path or swing if we're one degree out, the path can be one degree out. Indeed, yeah. Okay. Um, now, from another point of view, it's your posture. Yes, this is something that I know is very poor. Okay. So, within golf, there are three common types of posture. So, you have <laughs> ne neutral posture. You have N posture. So, for neutral. Yeah. You have C posture. Or you have S posture. So the difference being... And I've got no posture at all. <laughs> you've got a little bit of C. So the difference being is M posture is when we're yeah. sort of in a very more athletic position. Indeed, yeah. Okay. You've got C posture when you're a little bit hunched. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got S posture where you have a little bit of a curve. Yeah. Just below your thoracic muscle into the base of your spine. Okay. So we are a little bit in C posture. Yeah. Okay. Now, what C posture <laughs> can not help with? Yeah, it's back problems. It's back problems. Yeah. Um, and also rotation and weight transfer. So when we're into C posture, it's very difficult to rotate properly. Yeah. Because all of our muscles are tighter, they're more compact, and we can't get that rotation in the back well. Indeed. And, yeah. And also follow through. So if we get rid of that, so I think the first thing that we're going to look at today is posture posture okay now obviously you've spoken quite a lot about your grip um now if we zoom in on your grip it does get a little bit blurry i will check it just to yeah. make sure on, in terms of placement because i want you to feel comfortable that's the most important thing and know where you should be if i was to describe my grip i'd say that the left hand is weak and the right hand strong and underneath okay and so it, looking at it zooming in a little bit yeah Right hand's not in a bad position. Mm. Left hand, I personally want to try and get it a little bit stronger. Right. Just a smidge. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too major, because obviously that can have a subsequent effect on ball flight and, and characteristics of shot. Well, when you're, when, you're swinging, when your swing path is out to in, yeah. the last thing you want is a strong grip, and I think that's probably why I've got weak over the years. Absolutely. So because we've obviously got a course, you're right. Yeah, but because we've got the course of lessons. We've got the course the of lessons one, being fixed. The one it. element that I do want to also work on is club path. Yeah. So you are right. If we do strengthen your grip and you are coming out to win, I've got to change the club path to, to match it. Path. Absolutely brilliant. Because otherwise we're even further low left. Yeah. Or we're blocking it even further right. So you are you are right. Um, so let's have a look at that first because I don't want to overcomplicate. Kate, over complicate things today. Get my words out in a minute. Yeah. Um, 
and then we can we can look from there. So if we just run you through the swing, because we've uh, we've got you up here. So on take back. So we'll play it in. Let's see if I bow my wrist on this one or not. Yeah, a little bit. Tiny bit. Okay. So what what you're saying about bow? Right yeah. Right. Slightly here. It's so from elbow to wrist. Yeah. It's slightly bowed. Um, clubs obviously working a lot from the inside, mm -hmm. so potentially could get trapped behind us. Yeah. We've lost a little bit of connection in the left arm. Yeah, that is very familiar. That yeah. You can drive a bus through that gap. <laughs> Um, so definitely something we need to address. Yeah. Now, the most important part of any golf swing is the downswing. Yeah. But it's a bit like a house and building mm -hmm. a house. We've got to put the foundations in before we put the roof on. Yeah. Otherwise, it will just come tumbling down. So, yes, the most important part for me and for any pro really who's coaching you will be from the top of the backswing down. But it's a bit like a chain effect. We've got to get this right mm -hmm. and then make sure that from the top of the backswing to impact yeah. as well. So we are a little bit on the inside. We then come up to the top. You're absolutely right with what you were saying. So we do lose a little bit of width in the backswing and we yep. lose a lot of those, we almost collapse those arms slightly, as mm -hmm. you've quite rightly told me. I haven't so, got rid uh, of it in 25 years. I, okay. It just won't stop. Now, in terms of your forearm position, I personally don't think it's in a bad place. Yeah. Um, we've obviously got a bit of an overswing going on mm -hmm. um, is that caused by our wrists or is that caused by our arms is that something that I've got to discover for you yep. and see which way is best to tackle it I have improved it okay. because at the top of the backswing I see the club head appearing on my left okay. and I know that over a course of lessons it's, it disappears okay. so obviously the, the, the club is in a different position at the top and it'd be nice to regain that absolutely and, I mean, uh, with utmost respect on this comment it's ball golfers getting lazy. Oh, indeed, yeah. We get back into our same routines where that you know we're comfortable with after we've worked with golf pros, and it just gets lazy and loops. Oh, indeed, yeah. Everybody does it. So, if we can, if we can tackle that, as you said, happy days. If that makes you strike the ball better, then great. So, as we're then coming down into the follow through, we obviously lose a little bit of height. That's my first initial. Look at that. So it's can, almost like I've got to lose the height to get that club head back. Correct. So we lose that height, which then causes us to come slightly over the top. Now, it's not massive. And mm. that's what's been quite impressive. If I just stop that there for a second and show you this stat. Um, where's your six? Oh, I restarted it, didn't I? My apologies. So, but your club path consistency it's not that bad is it isn't it? that bad at all yeah okay so it's not a million miles off and that's why you're a good golfer at the end of the day you know you, you can play golf to a very very good standard the vast majority of my practice is seven iron feet together and making the various parts work at the same at the correct time yeah um, even if their work even if everything is poor yeah at least if the toast to the head are working together you get a usable shot. Absolutely. It might not be the best shot in the world, yeah. but it's not the worst either. It's usable. I always say with lessons and fittings, yep. you've come in, whether it's a buy new set of clubs or lessons like we have today, to get better. Oh, indeed, so yeah. So you want to make your, your bad shot better. Your good shot's already good, so we need to make the bad shot better. Um, so looking at it, we have lost a little bit of height. Now, naturally, we are going to lose height mm -hmm. into impact, um, but we'll, we'll address how much that is. Now, obviously, we've spoken about injuries and limitations and things yeah. like that. Um, I would like to try and get you rotating a little bit more. It, yeah, because we'll that's where the power is. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, we'll see if that's possible for one. I know we've spoken about massage and things like that. Um, you know, what I don't want to do is I don't want to get you doing something that's going to injure you. So we've got to see if that's capable, um, or not capable, but possible. Um, and if it is, it's really going to happen. My personal thought at the moment is that impact position where I'm barely off my right heel yeah. is, is a result of all the faults. Potentially. Where I'm having to wait for the club head to arrive. Spot on. Yeah. So it does look a little bit delayed. 
yeah. the clubs. So the technical term for that is kinematic sequence. Yeah. So your kinematic sequence isn't sequenced. <laughs> it isn't sequenced. <laughs> if, if that so, makes sense. So the, the hips aren't driving yeah. and you just result with a weak shot. Yeah. Now you're not that weak. You're hitting a six iron 167 yards on that last one. Yeah. So it's not weak, but it could be better. That's, that's the big thing. If I was outside in the cold right now and I had 167, I would be reaching for the five. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously we have the luxury in here. It's going to, yeah. Going to mainly show up summer conditions rather and than winter it, conditions. And it's nice to play without a jumper and a, Absolutely. And three layers on. Now release, not by the tool, but we can yeah. see that the hips haven't moved still, or they're very limited. It, indeed. Yeah. Um, release looks very good to be honest. Um, and then up into our follow through. Again, that lower half is just working a little bit behind where it should. Yeah. Um, now, if we just briefly have a very quick look at this, because we don't want to spend all of our time talking, we want to action it. So, this is just from front on. So, there's that club getting a little bit more from the inside towards the loft and line machine. And there's, there's a tiny sway there in of a turn. Tiny, tiny sway, yeah. Up to the top, that's where we get a little bit narrow. Mm. And as you said, we have swayed a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It looks very cramped. It looks very mm -hmm. restricted. And then on the way down, our first movement is loss of height slightly, but we are moving forwards. But then we stay behind it in essence. There's a very yeah. small rotation or weight transfer. And then we're up and through. Eventually, up Eventually. and through. <laughs> so there's a little bit to work on. Now, I know we've obviously been talking for a little bit of time and we've nitpicked on every little thing. Well, that's what we're here it, for. Absolutely. It's not that bad. It's no, it's not, not that going, bad. I'm getting it around the going, golf course. Absolutely. It's not going to take a lot to get you moving in the right way. Yeah, you know, the other Sunday I shot two over growth with that. Um, absolutely. When it wasn't windy. Absolutely. So, very, very good. So, I think, first things first, if you're happy to do so, let's look at grip. Um, just making sure that that's set yeah. and most importantly posture. Right. Okay. Excellent. So just feel as if uh, those glutes are sticking out a little bit more. So just from here sticking in a little bit more, a little bit more in the chest. Excellent. Let's see if you can go from there for me. That was a slap. Okay. This is going to take a little while, isn't it? A little while, no. It's going to take a lot of time, of course. It's, being completely honest, what we've done today isn't going to massively improve your ball play. No, no. But it's that foundation, the base of the house that we spoke about. Let's make sure it is. Very good. You've got into that straight away for me. Well done. That was a good strike. It's yeah, it. to get a reasonable strike when your head is full of information. Information. Right, some on top as well. Right. So, so just, just a little bit more of an extended right thumb. Yeah. Everything makes sense so far? Yes. Good. Any questions or queries or why we've done what we've done? No, I, I know my posture, I know my gri grip is sloppy, I know my posture is poor. Okay. I, 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 I'm well aware of my fingers, so to speak. Better. So you know that last little movement you did was just yeah, that. Just that way. Excellent. Very good. Apart from that, it was perfect. <laughs> if we look there, 
yeah. much better. Now it's only subtle. Mm. It is only subtle. We know it's different, and it'll be different for the better. Yeah. So no, that's very good today. Well done. Um, so I will obviously send you a video lesson email. Yep. Okay then, James. You have to ignore my droning voice going over it. Oh, but, um, I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> But no, we'll, we'll sort yeah. it out for you. Um, and then I think next time, if that feels comfortable, obviously we'll keep tabs on it between now and the next session. But if that does feel comfortable and you're getting that more naturally, then we can then obviously address that. Well, well my job now is position. to go to the range and work on this posture and, and the grip change. Yeah. Grip and posture. And get a bit of automatic pilot going. Spot on. Good working. Yeah. Um, and then from there... We'll obviously then address take back downswing, yeah, and really improve the ball flight for you. Well done, sir. Very Thank good. you so much. No Brilliant. Very very good.